So let's go ahead and get started. Guys, welcome back to iTrust Dream. If this is your first time, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any of these videos. Today, we're gonna be talking about the TiVo Stream 4K, this guy right here. This recently came out and I recently did a video prior to this one. Link inside of the description where you can go actually go and watch my last video talking about the TiVo Stream 4K and my initial thoughts were. Been a couple weeks now and I kind of wanted to go over my uh, my thoughts on it as an actual device. Is it still worth buying? So we're gonna be asking ourselves a few questions like is it still worth buying today? It is currently still being listed as $50. But uh, so $70 is initially where they plan on putting the device at. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, had issues with it be listed at seventy dollars. Is it still worth even if they were to increase the price of this device to seventy dollars? As a consumer, as someone that is a cord cutter, should you still buy it even if it was to raise the price? Recently, I did a video on the VidStick, the ST four thousand by Buzz TV that was listed at sixty nine ninety nine. And no one batted an eye when it came to the price. What was the differences that was from the VidStick versus this? Hardware-wise, it is exactly the same. Android 9, Android 9. Uh, S905Y2 versus S905Y2. Pretty much the same setup. The only thing is that this has the Android TV layout, which the Buzz was more marketed to more IPTV users. And pretty much, if you have a service, you would use the Buzz TV stick to initially use the menu. But when it comes to a lot of the applications like Netflix, Hulu, I mean, e even Google apps, it, uh, essentially, you're not getting the supported you're not getting the actual like true versions of Netflix. When it comes to the licensed uh, versions of Netflix and, and YouTube, you're not gonna be getting that on these China boxes. You're gonna be getting that here. So what is it really worth it to you when it comes to these devices? Are you using it for Netflix? Uh, do you like Dolby Audio? Like, Do you like having those type of features when it comes to applications? This is gonna have it all. This is considered a licensed product by Google. So you're getting that true version of Android TV versus an emulator um, that's gonna cost you $20 more. And for everyone that did come out for the Buzz TV giveaway, again, thank you. Uh, we're gonna be doing more. I do have more products to do future giveaways. So if you guys show love on this video, that would encourage me to do future giveaways. But to not to get off subject, people still try to compare this uh, to the Fire Stick, which is a Fire Stick is, is a really good competitor. And I would like to see a device like this give Fire Stick a run for its money. If they were to continue to keep this price point at $50, I feel like this can sit in the store. This can sit in the store right next to uh, right next to the Amazon Fire Stick 4K because that is right around $50 also. So if this was being sold side by side, what would people do? Would they still buy the, the Fire Stick? and still sideload a lot of stuff, or would they buy this because of Android TV? Uh, on Touchstone's live show, I talked about what my daily driver was. My daily driver is a Sony Android TV and has Android built in. I still 100% think that if you're a fan of Android TV and you love the layout uh, like this, if you like this layout and be able to uh, down and use your applications based off this layout, taking that layout and that daily driver that you love at home, that Android TV, and take it on the road. For me personally, me and my wife, my family, I travel a lot, not necessarily during this pandemic, but I do travel a lot and when I do go, I take my Nvidia Shield. Where, where is this guy? Here it is. So I take this everywhere I go. See how beat up it, this thing is? I use the crap out of this Nvidia Shield. This is because it has multiple ports, it has ethernet. Not that I'm gonna be using ethernet on the go, but it just has just the enough speed and reliability. And that's one of the main things when it comes to product purchases is that is it reliable do we have enough time with this for this to be a, a reliable source no but i think for at the price point of it being currently at 50 dollars to have a similar layout to this when it comes to layout wise i think for 50 bucks to take this on the go and not really risk damaging your mobile device i think it's well worth it so so for me traveling taking this on the go it's bulky it's kind of big it's not really huge but it's something that you have to kind of keep an eye on you having to like pack it and my controls when traveling i got the remote i have to bring a hdmi cable because you can't really rely on uh 
hotels having uh, H an extra HDMI cable, extension cords for the power. You just plug it in. It's, I mean, it's super small. It's nice being able to have this kind of like the fire stick where, you know, it has the HDMI, uh, HDMI input uh, right at the end. And it being super light, small, comparable to the fire stick, I guess this is considered a dongle rather than a stick. This is a stick. Uh, this being bendable, I guess, I guess if it's got a weird angle, you can still kind of like get it behind a TV versus this. You 100% need an adapter. You need an adapter to kind of get behind that TV on the go. For me, I'm not a huge fan when it comes to the Fire OS layout due to bloatware. There's tons of bloatware on this. Don't get me wrong, there's four gigabytes of actual bloatware on here, but that is the exact same as this Nvidia Shield. There's the same amount of bloatware. Almost to over $200, $50. Three gigs of RAM, two gigs of RAM. One and a half gigs of RAM. What is RAM? What is memory? It's gonna allow you to do more tasks in the background. So if you're flipping through different applications, this will do a little bit quicker than this. Um, I feel like I still need to spend a little bit more time. I think maybe uh, after a month owning this, you're gonna see another video of me posting about my experience with the TiVo Stream 4K after a month. But what have we learned from this uh, besides the price point? There's been a lot of issues when it comes to software. Not so much on the hardware. It, ha it hasn't overheated on me. It hasn't forced closed and turned off on me. The one thing that it has done is that it has some bugs when it comes to the home menu. We're gonna plug this into the computer real quick and I'm gonna show you. Going home, this little circle button right here, if you can see that, going home right here, it would always open up an application Trying to go back home, it would always have an error. I wanna go and see if there has been another update. If so, this being such a new product, they are learning, they're getting uh, information and data from a lot of different users, and they're, what they're doing is they're seeing what they need to fix. As a company, that is fantastic. TiVo's been around a long time. Don't think that this is gonna be the all-be-all -all device. Even though when we first saw the Fire Stick, it wasn't the all-be-all -all device. Is it still worth buying at $50? I still think so if you want the Android TV layout if you want two gigs of RAM, if you want uh, a, an alternative uh, device to take on the go and just be able to take these two things with your power device, that's it, and you're traveling, you're on the go. Okay, it's powering on right now. Got my remote. A lot of people didn't really care for the remote. I think I was maybe the only one that actually liked the remote, am I, am I wrong? Did you guys buy this? Did you guys like the remote? I like it. Okay, so let's see if there is any updates available. This is after, oh, here we go. That's how fast, that was That was it? Am I, you guys saw that, right? I didn't touch anything. Okay, so there's an update. Uh, installing system update, let's see how long it takes. Okay, so it's about done. Let's wait for it to boot up. There is that logo. Initially, I only turned off the camera for about a minute, maybe two minute and a half. It only took about a minute and a half for it to completely update. Let's go ahead and see. Let's go over here, still version nine, of course. Let's go over to um, system updates to see if there's anything else that's currently uh, checking for updates. I did, notice, I, I did notice a couple other YouTubers saying that uh, every single week they have experienced uh, an update. So that is a good thing when it comes to a company. Uh, putting products out, uh, frequent updates is cool. A lot of people think that uh, updates could be very annoying. Uh, they're not, they're annoying, but if it's gonna make your device run better, I think it's necessary. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's go to that home menu now. So now let's go open up like uh, a couple applications and go back home, because I know home was um, a big deal, a big issue. So, okay, let's open up file linked let's go home open up outer limits let's go home Netflix go home so it's, it seems like see look and now YouTube's getting an update it just seems like uh, it, it's running a little bit more smoothly I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Also, guys, 
Who's needing one? Are you needing one? Let me know in the comment section. If this uh, video gets up into the 300s, uh, if, we, if this video gets 300 likes, uh, I'll give away one live again. So I'll give away another device live. I'm going to set this video up to a goal. I'm going to let it run for a little, a little bit. I'm going to set you guys a little goal real quick. 300 likes. I'll mail you guys one. I'll buy it and I'll mail it. I only have one here. Of course, this wasn't a sponsored video, so I had to buy this myself. So, but if you guys are interested, and uh, if, if this video doesn't get 300 likes, um, let me know why you need one. Why you need it, not want it. Why do you need it? Is this a necessity for you? Is this something that you are desiring? Is this something that's been out of your reach for a while? Let me know in the comment section below because uh, I would love to get you one. You know, as being a viewer of, of my channel, this is something that I can do for you guys. Hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, we're gonna go into more details. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are gonna want to see. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button for me. Comment if you guys are new also. Uh, and if anything, ring that bell so you guys get notified every time I post here on iTrust Stream. This is iTrust Stream, and I'll talk to you guys later. Late.